Ready to rock and roll, my friend. Okay, here we go. It's Your Life is sponsored by James J.C. Cooley. Life is a series of circles and cycles, phases and stages. These are your experiences that teach you the lessons of life. You can either ignore them or embrace them. Welcome to the James Cooley Show. It's your life. James is a motivational speaker, author, military veteran, and founder of the James Cooley Foundation. James is here to equip you to strive for greatness and to overcome adversity. It's time to get equipped today for the challenges of tomorrow. Now, here's the host of It's Your Life, James Cooley. Hello, welcome to It's Your Life. I'm James Cooley, and you know, I am so excited about uh, today's show. A couple of reasons why I'm so excited to talk. First of all, we just got back from Chicago, man, and it was cold. I mean, it was, I mean, real cold there, my friend. It was and, nice and warm out here for you. Uh, I know it's warm in California, but we're in Texas right now. But, you know, I'll be coming your way I mean, in the next uh, week and a half. Uh, yeah, about a week and a half, I'll be coming your way. And uh, All right. Looking forward to hanging out with you in the studio and, you know, doing some great uh, shows. So, Of course. But So, looking forward to being in California, but... Uh, Currently, we are in Dallas. We just got back to Dallas from uh, uh, Chicago, where we watched uh, my son graduate from boot camp, Navy boot camp. And Congratulations. That's awesome. Man, now he's a member of the United States Navy. And guess what, Todd? He followed in Dad's footsteps. That's so cool. Yes. And he's in Pensacola, Florida, right now. He got there yesterday. So uh, I'm so proud of that young man. And uh uh, but uh, I am so proud of my co-host who's uh, sitting right here next to me in our home studio in Dallas. How you doing, Michelle? I'm good. I'm good. It's um, I'm losing track of the days of the week, but it is, I do believe it is hump day? It's hump day! <laughs> you know, it is hump day. You know, so... Uh, it's hump day. Woo-woo! <laughs> Hump day! <laughs> hump day! You know, man, every day is hump day time. You, you know what I'm talking about, man, because you know, we have to put the work in. And we have to work, wake up, whether it's in the, the first day of the week, middle of the week, or the end of the week, and we have to have the same focus on going out and doing great things in our communities, in our lives, in our world to make... Uh, uh, ourselves, people around us, and people that might be a little bit unfortunate than we are, uh, that don't have the knowledge, we have to educate them, and um, and we also have to educate ourselves, and that that's why I'm so excited to have uh, this great guest on. And Todd, I don't know if if, if you was on Zoom, if you lo- locked in the Zoom, you'll see he got on his uniform. Um, superhero and he's no other than the danger man yes you know who he is you know who we be you know who we is you know who we be you know who we is you know who we be you know who we is, you know who we be. People always asking me who I am. I'm Danger Man. Wow, that's Danger Man, the black Superman. And you know, this guy is doing so much in the communities. Uh, he's a role model. And I tell you, I, I, I just want to dive directly off into this. Michelle, can you, first of all, introduce the title of today's show and the purpose of today's show? Yes, the title of today's show is Danger Man, the Urban Superhero Returns. The purpose of the show is getting to know the background of the urban superhero, Danger Man, discuss the upcoming 6th Annual Danger Man Hero Awards, talk about his new series, Danger Man Returns, and talk about, you know, Danger Man's thoughts on how we can keep safe in our neighborhoods and also how, you know, people have been addressing the pandemic. Wow. Can you please introduce this absolutely wonderful, great young man? 
to our listening audience. Yes, Danger Man, the urban superhero, a.k.a. Roger Tinsley. Why an urban superhero? Because it's about time we have someone of color who can best articulate the needs and concerns in our inner city communities. Known for having a big heart and an even bigger appetite for helping people in need, Danger Man is an advocate for the rights of the underserved and at-risk youth in America. Founder of the Danger Man Superhero Brand and CEO President of the Danger Man Education Foundation, Tinsley first introduced Danger Man to America in 1998 after being emotionally impacted by the death of a four-year-old. The toddler was tragically killed on her birthday by a stray bullet from gang-related gunfire. Tinsley felt compelled to create a life Real life hero, superhero, who can serve as a role model for school aged children in underserved communities while addressing issues that specifically affected them. Using his own money and resources, he created Danger Man, the urban superhero. As a real life urban superhero, Danger Man promotes literacy, safety, and good health. He wages against bullying, gun violence, and fights human trafficking. He visits schools, boys and girls clubs, and community events, encouraging his audience with a motto of no gangs, guns, drugs drugs, alcohol, or tobacco. He's traveled throughout America and Haiti, empowering children to live their best life. Protect, promote, and provide are the pillars Danger Man lives by. The Danger Man brand has steadily evolved to the fastest growing superhero brand in the world and celebrated its 20th year anniversary back in 2018 and keeps on going. The James Cooley Show, It's Your Life, welcomes back Roger Tinsley, a.k.a. Danger Man. Danger Man. Hey, 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 hey uh, Todd, before uh, I bring him on, can I, can I get a little bit more of that music right there? You know who he is, you know who he be. You know who we is, you know who we be. You know who we is, you know who we be. You know who we is, you know who You know who he is, you know who he be. It's Danger Man, the black Superman, Roger Tinsley, my very, very, very good friend. How you doing? Welcome to the show, my friend. How you doing, James Cooley? Man, I'm doing absolutely wonderful, man. It's an absolute pleasure having you back on. I miss you, brother. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, brother. I miss you guys too, man. It's good to be back. Man, it's great yes. to be back, man. And it's, and uh, I am so proud. And I mean, I'm just a big fan of yours, man. I mean, I, I follow you. I talk Thank to you, you all the time. And you're doing great things in the communities. And you're getting people involved. And you also bring in businesses. You bring in other folks in. Uh, and uh, that getting involved in uh, the Danger Man uh, product and all the things that you have been doing. Can you tell our listening audience, Danger Man, uh, that did not listen to the last show that you was on, can you tell them a little bit about you and uh, tell them why uh, the urban superhero Danger Man was created? Well, um, that's easy to do because I'm very passionate about it. Uh, I'm known as Danger Man, the real-life urban superhero. And uh, that was because of an uh, incident, uh, uh, very dramatic, where a four-year-old uh, girl got shot on the way to a birthday party in the car with her parents. And I saw that on the news one morning. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of an echo. I think it might be for one of your headphones. People, now people get shot all the time. Now. They, shoot, they shoot kids every day now. It's no big thing. But then it was very rare for something like that to happen. You know, we're talking about 24 years ago, okay? And so, you know, that you know, I got a tear in my eye watching the story in the news. I said, "Wow!" I said, "I have to, I have to do something about that. Try to, try to, you know, change that. We need to, you know, um, keep our kids safe, okay?" and uh, keep our kids out of danger, right? And that's basically what I said, not even knowing that there was going to be a danger man, okay? And, uh, and so, you know, because our, 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 our kids are, you know, God has given us our babies to raise and to keep safe and to protect and to feed them, okay, and to educate them, okay? Not to put them out here so they can get, hurt or, or, or killed, okay? And so we have uh, 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 we have this responsibility given to us by God to, to 
keep the children, to save the children. Okay, and so that's why I created Danger Man to help to save the children. I said, I said I'm going to do something. I didn't know what I was going to do back then. I didn't know I was going to become a superhero. I just <laughs> wanted to, to to do something to have a part in a part to play in uh, making a difference. Well, you, and that's why I created Danger Man. Well, you definitely have made a difference. So why do you think it's important to have a, a black superhero for our youth, in your opinion? Well, because uh, um, it, it, it's important for our kids and even the parents in the community to see somebody who looks like them, okay, who can uh, uh, talk to them and, or give them uh, advice and, and, and show concern about and passion about things that are happening in our community, all right, like South Los Angeles and Watts and Compton and, and other in Inglewood in areas where, um, you know, superheroes, the superheroes that they go to see are in the movie theater. Those superheroes are making big money, but they're not, they don't care about our community, okay? And so we take the time to go into the schools and these other communities to, and to empower uh, young people and, and inspire them so that they can do or be anything that they want to be. Wow. You know, Danger Man, you, you're absolutely right. We, we uh, <clears throat> people need superheroes that kind of represent them, kind of look like them. I'm talking about all over the world, wherever that might be. Right, and man. This right. is a blessing uh, that you're doing what yeah. you're doing because, uh, uh, people can One relate to uh, someone like them and they understand that they could be a superhero and they can be an important figure in whatever they are doing uh, regardless of their religion regardless of their race regardless of whatever that might be and uh, yeah. brother I, I'm just so happy and so proud of all the things you're doing but I tell you we're going to take a station break but we're going to come back and we're going to continue to talk to Danger Man, the Black Superman. It's your life. I'm James Cook. We'll be back after the break. Mustang you can view on YouTube on Danger Man, the Black Superman. He's Danger Man, the Black Superman. There's more stories of greatness to help you overcome adversity. Coming up on It's Your Life with James Cooley. Noah D. Lee here, producer of the James Cooley Show, It's Your Life. And the new audio. What was that, James? James I said, Did country we boy, that city boy, boy a journey that. I think it's because your headphones are, are kind of loud. James yeah, yeah, yeah. Right right now, that's what I'm talking about. Success in America. Okay. Uh, what about it is better? And a roadmap better to achieve the American dream. Everything's good, yeah. I mean, it was just a little bit, a little bit of tiny, tiny echo is coming from your headphones. Amazon.com or wherever audio books are sold. Alrighty. The J.C. Cooley Foundation is a nonprofit organization that was started in October of 2014. The J. C. Working and, yeah, so hanging out with my bicycle club. We did uh, a couple other charity events. We did a food drive. Um, we got our summer, big summer ride coming up, so we're getting plan doing plans for that. And experience firsthand the pride we take in supporting our cause. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Equip the youth yeah, totally. for the challenges of tomorrow. And we rely heavily on the generosity of individuals and business owners for support. That'd be great. I'd, I'd, I'd love to do that sometime. It's just like you. We wouldn't be able to serve our yeah, youth each year. Definitely. We ask that you make a commitment to support our annual appeal by making a cash donation. This year's goal is $50,000. Your generosity will assist us in making a difference in the lives of the youth in our community. You can give online at CooleyFoundation.org. Remember that every donation makes a difference regardless of size. The J.C. Cooley Foundation thanks you in advance for your contribution. Hey, hey. Coming back in 30 Country seconds. Boy, hey, City Boy, a journey that ain't Come over on, yet. I mean, the okay. true life coming of age open, story man. by James right. J.C. Cooley. Yeah. Using humor, wit, and engaging storytelling, James paints a picture about his arrival in a rural deep south town and realization that life would never be the same. Cooley lays out his struggle to adjust from city life to country okay. life and back again, sharing his hard-earned lessons to educate, encourage, and enlighten our next generation of leaders and heroes. Get your I'm going to play the rejoiner, and then I'll play a little bit a more of the Danger Man intro yet. song, okay? J.C. Right. Cooley, available on Amazon and everywhere books are sold. Streaming now at TheAnswerSanDiego.com and Odyssey.com. 
It's time to dream big, think big, and be big. It's time for more It's Your Life. Now, here's your host, James Cooley. This is the name of my bat. I ain't playing with you. You better stay back. I'm Danger Man, the Black Superman. He's Danger Man, the Black Superman. Fighting crime is where I'm at. You better stay back. Mike's are hot. Get whack. I'm Danger Man, the Black Superman. He's Danger Man, the Black Superman. I tell the kids to stay in. Wow, you know, he's Danger Man, the Black Superman, and I tell you. Uh, primarily in the L.A. area, L.A. Long Beach area, but uh, Danger Man is all over. I mean, he's been to uh, many states, uh, a few countries, and delivering the message. And uh, I tell you, this man is so fascinating and came up uh, with this idea that's resonating throughout the United States and uh, and throughout the world. So, listen to the audience. we got Roger Tensley, better known as Danger Man, the Black Superman. If you want to be part... Uh, this great conversation, by all means, please call in at 1-888-344-1170. Again, that's 1-888-344-1170. Danger, man. got to ask you this question, man, because uh, I, I understand how you uh, create the character. Because you and I, that's just me and you are talking. You just shared that. But tell us who are some of your role models. And how did that help influence you into creating the Danger Man character? Well, both of my parents were teachers. Okay. And so that's one thing that inspired me because they always pushed, or I shouldn't say pushed, but empowered us to read. Okay. You know, reading is the key. The more you read, the more you learn. The more you learn, the more you earn, okay? Uh, keeping our kids in the schoolhouse and out of the jailhouse. So they were uh, always uh, telling us the benefits of reading and, and how it would uh, improve your vocabulary, okay? And, uh, 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 you know, it really allow you to be able to learn more because you can travel uh, by books, okay, you can go places, okay, you can go to the moon, you can go to the, to, to the valley, to the reef, you know, just all over the place, you can go by, by reading books, good books, okay, you know, or if you want to read a fun book just for laughs, you can do that, but books are important, books are the key, reading is the key, all right, and so they always inspired us, uh, I was telling some kids at a school, I said, yeah, uh, uh, I used to come home and, and a couple of times I got caught watching TV instead of doing my homework first. And my dad would come and stand in front of the TV, just stand up there like a superhero would stand, okay? And, uh, and, and you know, James, that I didn't say, excuse me, don't you see I'm watching TV? No, I didn't, you know, okay? <laughs> so if, in our family, I had three brothers you either had brains enough to know it was time to get up or or you were going to get a little, your shoulder squeezed or your ear pinched, okay, or, you know, grabbed up off of that, you know, like, you didn't, you didn't really want him to ask you, have you done your homework, okay, you know, because then he's like, okay, you did your homework, bring it down here, let me see it, okay, and all right, so the best thing was that at that point, you know, was like, get on up and get get to getting that homework done. So, yeah, those were my, uh, 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 you know, my main heroes. And then, uh, and then Martin Luther King, mm -hmm. then he had a dream, okay? And, uh, and I used to, I used to be inspired by listening to, uh, to his speeches because I was a, uh, a speech student in high school, okay? And, uh, uh, one of his, his speeches, was one of the ones that I, I won uh, a couple of awards on uh, from uh, um, from doing during our speech tournaments. Okay, and I would turn I turn the tournament out. Okay, I used to have a very bravado voice. I had a voice that could you know penetrate the walls. Then okay, and uh, uh, so and I'd get up there and get that mic and get on the podium. I'd blow it away. I'd blow everybody out the room. Okay, 
you know. So, uh, yeah, those were, you know, uh, some of my heroes. Well, those are great role models. Now, Danger Man, tell us about the Danger Man Hero Awards and what inspired you to create this um, Hero Awards show. Well, in 2016, um, you know, I'm I'm always branding, always branding, okay? And so I would just, you know, seeing things on the news in the newspaper, that's when we, back when we had newspapers too, I'd see a story about... uh, uh, someone who was impacted, who said, you know, oh, well, like me, you know, and, and said, oh, you know, that they were inspired to do something. I said, you know what, I'm going to start an award show, create an award show where um, we will honor and celebrate heroes in our community, people who make a difference, people who, who every day, just ordinary men, women, and children, who who see a need or who are impacted by uh, something to to uh, um, to, um, to encourage them to want to do something, okay? And so I was looking around. I said, okay, there's some, there's a guy there. He has a, a business where he's, he's uh, teaching or helping handicapped children, okay, mm-hmm. or uh, helping to do some work with seniors, okay, and going out of their way because there was one gentleman that I saw. I met him going to an event, and he, he on, on, I think it was Tuesday. Oh, yeah, it was Tuesday. He did Taco Tuesday, okay, for the homeless. But check this out. He was homeless, okay? Oh. Uh, and he would manage to uh, uh, put up uh, a little pop-up. This, well, this is before uh, the COVID. They had, they were, he, he was doing uh, pop-ups, okay? So he'd do a pop-up, and he'd make tacos, and he'd feed the homeless in North Hollywood, okay? And... Uh, and I said, wow, that's you. Don't, yeah. I said, you're homeless yourself, and you're feeding the homeless, okay? You've got to be a danger man hero. And so that's how I came up with it. I was looking at, uh, I found people that, that went beyond, mm-hmm. okay, beyond themselves, okay, and uh, and saw that there was a need and helped to fill it. Well, that's, that's, that's very inspirational. You know, heroes come in all shapes and forms and walks in life. Right. And what you talked about, the guy, um, about the Taco Tuesday, that was very inspiring. Now, you've got the sixth annual Danger Man Hero Awards coming up on April 2nd. Now, the show will be done virtually. Why did you decide to do the show this year virtually? Well, um, we weren't quite ready to go back to the museum, which is uh, uh, the African American Museum. That's where it was at for the first four years, which is a very beautiful uh, location over in Expo Exposition Park. Okay, and uh, I said, "But we're going to do it. But we're going to do it virtually and red carpet." <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, we're going to have a virtual red carpet, and mm-hmm. everyone who gets an award will get a red carpet. People go for a red carpet with their award, okay? And uh, so uh, we're very excited about that. We'll, of course, we'll have entertainment, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, we'll have a, 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 a comic, okay? And uh, we'll have a, 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 a vocalist, okay? So, yeah, we're going to have, uh, you know, it's going to be just like being on... Um, on uh, Sunset Boulevard, okay, you like know, that. at one of those clubs, <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> well, yeah, can... we're going to have presenters who will present the award to the honorees, mm-hmm. okay, and, uh, yeah, so, and then we have a guest speaker, uh, remarks by Robert Salcedo, and Robert Salcedo is the CEO of the, uh, um, of Chrysler, and, Another nonprofit called Community Build, okay, and he's really making some moves in our community. Okay. Wow. So, what are the challenges you've been facing, or if any, by doing an award show virtually? Well, only thing with virtually, you don't get fried chicken. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, because uh, our past shows, you know, we've had dinner. People have served dinner, okay? And uh, uh, some people would come and just play together and forget their shows. Uh, yeah, danger man, I want some of that fried chicken y'all had last year. You got that again? Okay. And, uh, 
So, uh, yeah, but, you know, uh, a live show is, is always really beautiful um, because, you know, you have uh, the red, you actually have the physical red car, uh, carpet and you have the celebrities who come out and, um, you know, and just to be in the African American Museum, museum is, is really just amazing, okay? And, uh, but, you know, with, with virtual, it's actually a little easier to do, okay? And, um, you know, because you, 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 you still have, like I said, you have your presenters, and they present awards, and what happens is the honorees, due to the magic of television, they will have their awards uh, ahead of time, so, um, so they come up, One minute. print this in their award, and then they, they show their award, okay? You know, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be very exciting. It's, it's going to be very exciting, Danger Man, and uh, I am so fortunate yeah. that uh, I will be one of your presenters at uh, this absolutely fantastic event. Yeah. And uh, I, I, I tell you, uh, man, this is, uh, I know you've been doing this for a long time. Uh, and uh, one thing that you did not say is the reason why we're doing it virtually is because of the, the state of COVID. And I know you mentioned that. But we're we going to come back and we're going to do this. We're going to take a station break. But when we come back, we're going to find out who is attending this award and what type of entertainment. And we're going to get off into a little bit more. Of that. I know you just touched bases on that, but the Danger Man Awards is so important. So, I tell you, we're going to take a station break, but we're going to come back and continue to talk to this great man. It's your life from James Cooley talking to Danger Man. We'll be back shortly after the break. Because you don't want Danger Man after you. There's more stories of greatness to help you overcome adversity. Coming up on It's Your Life with James Cooley. There is much truth in a journey that ain't over yet. As all of us journey through life's precious gift okay. of time. That's going to be Just like I am. Hi, I'm James Cooley. Okay, so, so, so James Cooley one show, thing, It's Your Life. With, and in the I'm new audio and version and of my book, Country Boy, City Boy, A Journey That I Ain't Over Yet. You can join me as I share my true life story of struggle and success in America. It's both a cautionary uh, tale and a roadmap you know, to achieving the American dream. Because this is a must listen to for anyone who thinks exactly they're stuck in life or need okay. to understand that their current situation is not no, their no. final destination. Um, not, uh, Country you know, boy, city boy, a journey that ain't over yet. Okay. Is the unkept yeah, truth to provide hope so for the future here, by challenging you to refuse to become a victim of life's circumstances and dare to be and overcome because a bigger, better, and more impactful life awaits you. New audio version uh, of my book, I Country Boy, City it. Boy, and a journey that ain't yeah. over yet on Amazon yeah, yeah. and wherever audio books are sold. The J.C. Cooley Foundation continues to strive to expand its programs and offerings to the youth, yes. young adults, you and citizens the, of our great communities movie, nationwide and overseas. Movie, it's our I'm mission to equip the youth of today telephone. for the challenges of tomorrow. Uh, okay? Yes. That you make a commitment to support our cool, annual man. appeal by making yeah, a cash donation. Your really generosity right. will assist us uh, in making a difference in the lives of the youth in our community. You can give online at CooleyFoundation.com. Cooley Foundation thanks you in advance for your contribution. Noah Dingley nice. here. That'd be awesome. Of the James I'd love to take Cooley some pictures of him. Absolutely. And the new I'll be back in 30 seconds. Book, okay. Country Boy I'm going to do the same as I did before. I'll let the music fade yet. out and then I'll bring up some more Danger Man song. Okay. True hey, how, how are we doing success so in America. It's both a cautionary yeah, sound good? and a roadmap okay. right. to achieving the American dream. Get the new audio version of Country Boy, City Boy, A Journey That Ain't Over Yet by James Cooley hey, we on always Amazon you Zoom, or wherever uh, audio if, books if are sold. If you ever want to just lock in on who's going to get it. 96.1 North County, AM 1170, San Diego, The Answer. It's time to dream big, think big, and be big. It's time for more It's Your Life. Now here's your host, James Cooley. All on your back, all on your track, all on your cape, all in your face. I'm fighting crime, and it'll be fine. He's dead. <laughs> He's no stranger to it. Watch him do it. Mics are hot. He's Danger Man, the that, Black Superman. He's Danger Man, the Black Superman. Hey, Danger Man, hold that up again, man. Hold, hold up the danger. It's kind of like the bat sign, uh, the danger light, uh, and it's absolutely beautiful. 
you know, it, it's an absolute pleasure. The Danger like Man I'm, Chill. <laughs> the Danger Man Chill. Absolute pleasure having yeah. Danger Man on. I tell you, this is, I, I have Danger, Danger Man on periodically because he's doing so many great things. And uh, the world needs to know about him. And they will. I mean, if I have anything to do with it, uh, they will know uh, uh, all about this young man, all the things that he's doing, because it's not just a community thing. This is happening in every community across the United States of America and across the world. And we have to have people to step up uh, and That's be right. willing to help out. And uh, I, I tell you, you have to step up in your community, you have to step up in whatever you're doing, and you have to be a participant in this. And if you want to talk to this great, great man, that's 1-888-344-1170. Again, that's 1-888-344-1170. Danger, man. Now, we were talking about this great event that's going to be happen, happening April the 2nd. I'm so excited uh, because I Thank know... You. Uh, what you do, the work that you do, and you, you got so many great <laughs> folks that uh, I know that's going to be attending this virtually. And, uh, you know, you got uh, Dr. Talisha Bear, you got uh, so many folks uh, that's going to be doing the uh, there and that's making a difference in in a lot of people's lives. Can you tell us about some of the other folks? I know you mentioned this uh, doctor that's uh, very influential. That's going to be a part of that, but you got so many folks. Can you tell our listening audience a little bit about who will be attending? Okay, well, uh, one of our honorees, her name is Naja Roberts. And Naja Roberts is the queen, <laughs> she's the queen of the blockchain collective, okay? She's teaching. Uh, Minority or teaching them, just say it. she's teaching them in the black community. She's working with, with, with children and with their parents and with business people on the blockchain, teaching them about, uh, about, uh, um, uh, Bitcoin. Okay. And, uh, so we're really excited about this. She has a lot of information and, uh, and firsthand and she's doing workshops like two or three times a week about on on uh, Instagram and you know, Facebook, okay? And um, she has a lot of great information to share, okay? Uh, of course, we have Dr. Talisha Berry, who is a publisher, and um, she publishes Courageous Woman magazine, and she empowers other women to, to build businesses and to grow to be entrepreneurs, okay? And uh, we've had the pleasure of working with her for uh, about the last three years, and she's just amazing, okay? Um, and then we have, uh, of course, doctor, I mean, not doctor, but uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Salcedo, Robert Salcedo, who, who is the president of, and CEO of Community Build and Chrysler. Uh, and the response organization working in the uh, community of South Los Angeles, okay? And then CORE, which is uh, the organization, not the original CORE, I think you and I know about, which is uh, Congress of Racial Equality, but this is the new CORE founded by or co-founded by um, Sean Penn, okay? And uh, they've been going to communities around the world helping out Okay, and uh, you know, helping uh, underserved communities. Okay, and he was he did a lot of work during the pandemic in South Los Angeles to help get people vaccinated. Okay, and uh, so yeah, there's a uh, um, uh, oh uh, another uh, young man that I worked with, uh, um, uh, Jerry T. Um, Jerry's last name. Oh, no, 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 Jerry. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, Abraham. Yeah, Abraham. MD. Yeah. Oh, man. He's with Kedron back, back scenes, okay? And and him and his his, pop, his team and band, they were rolling to 
seven days a week going, getting people vaccinated, setting up clinics, doing it in the schools and, and other venues to get, you know, to get people in. A lot of people didn't, didn't know where to go or didn't want to go, you know. So we were going, we were taking the game to them. Okay, we're here, get your vaccination, get your vaccine, okay. And uh, so, yeah, we have some pretty amazing honorees. Yeah, we, you got a lot of amazing honorees. There's a lot more, and I know about that. Uh, but you, you had mentioned uh, something, and I'm, I'm going to say this. Um, and, um, you know, a lot of times in uh, African-American communities, a lot of times we are pushed to the side we don't understand. You mentioned blockchain. You mentioned that Bitcoin, that's electronic currency. That's the way of the world. And um, I believe that we need to have a better understanding. I'm talking about us as all people. Uh, yeah. That uh, that's the way to go. If you're not investing in in uh, electronic currency right now, uh, I believe that uh, you are kind of behind the power curve. I'm just I'm just gonna put it out there like that. Right. Right. And, okay. And, and okay. Uh, you also mentioned Dr. Abraham, uh, who uh, is uh, is going to communities, making sure that uh, that we understand that. Uh, vaccines are, are necessary and required That's right. uh, That's in order right. to keep us out of the hospitals and keep us away from uh, getting this uh, notorious virus, which is going to continue to happen. And we just have to stay abreast of all the things that are happening. So it's it's going to be so many folks that uh, that's going to be at this event. And you just mentioned a few. I just thought I would just point those two out. Uh, because we know them danger man and we know what uh, what they're doing and we know that their stories are, are so important I'm going to kind of switch right. a little bit uh, to uh, you know I watch your new project danger man returns and I know that you still working on, on a lot of those type of things man I'm, I love those movies man I love them can you tell our listener audience a little bit about danger man returns and upcoming new projects as relate to Danger Man Returns. Okay. okay. Well, so far, we have uh, uh, two episodes. The first one, episodes, because uh, we created our our uh, own crime series. Okay. We weren't, we're not waiting for Hollywood to come knock on the door because they probably won't. Okay. So we're, we're created, you know, we've been blessed to, uh, to, to get some funding and get people put in a team or production company together. And so um, uh, the first film is called Danger Man's Girls Aren't For Sale. Okay. Uh, we, we took headlines and ripped them right out of the, uh, um, uh, you know, right out of the headlines, stories and ripped them right out of the headlines. And we know human trafficking is, is a horrible thing that's happening in our communities. Okay. So we did a film uh, about that. And then we continue it on into uh, the rest of our crime series called Danger Man Return, okay? Uh, where Danger Man, um, yeah, I, think, I don't think I told you that. So Danger Man is AKA Max Man, okay? So in the storyline, the whole storyline <laughs> of Danger Man and who he is, he's, he's an investment banker by day, okay? Wears a nice suit, okay? Uh, drives a nice car, goes to a nice office, okay, and and uh, he helps people to to, to uh, get money to you know build their businesses or, or or you know raise their families, okay, and so you know he's you know wears glasses, you know he he's uh, a community guy, okay, and uh, and then at night he's danger man and he fights crime in the community, okay, Ooh. all right. <laughs> Yeah, so that's who he is, Max Manley. He has a wife called Brenda Manley, all right? And uh, uh, then he has two kids, Max Jr. and Brittany, okay? Of course, they don't know that their dad's a superhero, okay? And uh, uh, he hates having to, uh, you know, tell them lie. <laughs> yes. You know, basically, it's for their safety. He doesn't want them to get out there and... And somebody, you know, they start talking too much. Yeah, my dad is so-and-so. And then, you know, something happens to him. So, you know, he, he just has to keep it a secret. Okay? One minute. And uh, so, uh, 
yeah, so that's that that's how the story is building up and so he he gets involved in the community helping and then going after like human traffickers mm-hmm. and, 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 and these drug these gang these drug gangs and stuff, you know, trying to tear down our community, okay. And uh, now you have issues like real issues in, in, in our city, especially in Los Angeles. Well danger man crime rate can you hold that thought? Uh, we have to take a commercial break. Listening audience, if you want to be part of this conversation with Danger Man, please call in at 1-888-344-1170. That is 1-888-344-1170. The James Cooley Show, It's Your Life, will be right back with Danger Man, the urban superhero. There's more stories of greatness to help you overcome adversity. Coming up on It's it's your life with James Cooley. The J.C. Cooley Foundation is a nonprofit organization that was started in October of 2014. The J.C. Cooley Foundation continues to strive to expand its programs and offerings to the youth, young adults, and citizens of our great communities nationwide and overseas. We hope that you'll be able to take part in one or more of the many exciting events that we are offering this year and experience firsthand the pride we take in supporting our cause. It's our mission to equip the youth of today for the challenges of tomorrow, and we rely heavily on the generosity of individuals and business owners for support. Without the assistance of community-minded individuals just like you, we wouldn't be able to serve our youth each year. We ask that you make a commitment to support our annual appeal by making a cash donation. This year's goal is $50,000. Your generosity will assist us in making a difference in the lives of the youth in our community. You can give online at CooleyFoundation.org. Remember that every donation makes a difference regardless of size. The J.C. Cooley Foundation thanks you in advance for your contribution. Country Boy, City Boy, a journey that ain't over yet. The true life coming of age story by James J.C. Cooley. Using humor, wit, and engaging storytelling, James paints a picture about his arrival in a rural deep south town and realization that life would never be the same. Cooley lays out his struggle to adjust from city life to country life and back again, sharing his hard-earned lessons to educate, encourage, and enlighten our next generation of leaders and heroes. Get your copy of Country Boy, City Boy, a journey that ain't over yet by James J.C. Cooley. Available on Amazon and everywhere books are sold. The Answer, San Diego. Streaming now on iHeart.com and Odyssey.com. It's time to dream big, think big, and be big. It's time for more It's Your Life. Now, here's your host, James Cooley. Welcome back to James. You. you better stay back. I'm Danger Man, the Black Superman. He's Danger Man, the Black Superman. Fighting crime is where I'm at. Mics are hot. You better stay back or you'll get whacked. I'm Danger Man, the Black Superman. He's Danger Man, the Black Superman. Wow. Welcome back to the James Cooley Show. It's your life. We are here with Danger Man, the urban superhero. And listening audience, it's not too late. If you want to call and ask this urban superhero a question, please call in at 1-888-344-1170. That's 1-888-344-1170. Danger Man, before the break, you were telling us about, you know, the, sometimes the real life stories that are going on um, that you use as part of the story telling in the danger man series can you kind of just um just some finish up with your thoughts regarding that um well um the danger man stories are that we are using for our series are real stories of, of real crimes taking place that you know some people have heard of some people haven't but it it um, they get to see danger man in action, and then there's also uh, a way to to learn um, how not to become a victim. Okay, you know uh, by showing other victims and uh, how they got caught up in it. Because you know now we got here in Los Angeles, we got home invasions uh, every day. Almost we had one uh, last night up in Hollywood Hills. Okay, a guy who was a jeweler. He, um, and uh, he was renting this home until his home uh, could be finished building. And uh, guys came in and robbed him, took his whole suitcase he had on, expensive watches and Rolexes, and, okay. And then, then earlier that day, uh, at a jewelry store in Beverly Hills, 
We had a sma- another smash and grab. These guys, eight guys came in. You hear that, James? Eight guys with eight slug cameras came into the front door of a jewelry store, smashed the, the, the glass cases, and robbed them over a million dollars worth of jewelry. Okay, and uh, you know, so this this is just it's too much. We where we're, you know people are actually scared to uh, to go out. Okay, you know, and then you have people getting gas stolen out of their cars at night. You got the oh, gas goodness. is so hot, you know, that they're, they're, they're making it in people's cars. They're stealing their gas, okay? But we want people to be safe. There is a way to be safe. You just have to, you know, uh, uh, think out the box, okay? And, uh, uh, you know, and just uh, be intelligent about it so that, you know, you don't end up in trouble, but yet, you get, you know, you get the job done, you keep your family safe, mm-hmm. keep yourself safe, and your belongings, okay? So, but I always tell people when it comes up to them belongings, you know, if they got the, if they got the drawdown on you, you better give them up, okay? Because it's not worth losing your wife and your life. Exactly, okay. exactly. Yeah. Can you tell us about the Books Not Bullets project? Uh, you mentioned previously when we were talking, um, you're heading down south. Can you kind of go a little bit into that? Oh, yeah. So the Books Not Bullets, uh, it's called Danger Man's Books Not Bullets, mm-hmm. is, our, is our tour. That, uh, uh, it's a national school tour that we're doing, and we're going from uh, the second uh, part of it. This is the... Uh, the southern leg, we call it, because we're going to be going to uh, Atlanta, Mississippi, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina, and um, Alabama, okay, and uh, one other state, uh, Florida, okay. And what we do is, Danger Man, we go in, in these different uh, communities, we go to these schools, and we, we, we break it down with the kids. Books, not bullets, okay. Get books, we books. Okay, and and no to to guns and bullets as far as solving uh, your situations and solving your problems. Because now what's happening, it is so easy for people to just pull out a gun and, and shoot somebody or shoot at somebody for solving their problem instead of you know uh, uh, walking away or saying okay, uh, you know you're, you're you know it's just it's just they just because there's too many guns out there and they just people are, are just more willing to just pull them out, okay? And uh, that's not the way. That's not, that's not what America is about or is about, okay? And uh, uh, crime rates have increased over 130% in some cities, even like Los Angeles. So, you know, we got to keep our eyes open. Uh, if you see something or hear something, you got to say something, okay? And, uh, you know, and just... Be careful. And we, we, we got to a danger, man. We're down to about the last three minutes of the show, so I'm doing the lightning around right now. So, because uh, I want to get these questions in. And uh, okay. you probably got about 30 seconds per question. Okay. 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 So, first of all, is how has uh, Danger Man responded to the current pandemic, and what advice would you, would he give uh, to others? Well, I would say I would say to still wear your your mask when you're in a crowd of people. Okay, and uh, uh, I, I still wear mine in, 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 in a lot of respects when I'm when I'm around a lot of people. So wear your mask. Uh, still take your supplements to you know to keep to keep safe. Okay, uh, get, have some tests at home so you can test yourself if you feel like you know you may have something. Okay. But uh, the key thing is, you know, the pandemic is still with us, okay? It hasn't ended yet. We are not officially. So, uh, you know, do what you can do to be and, and, and to have a safe family and workplace. But Danger Man, okay, so this show is going to be played, uh, and I can tell you right now, uh, around the world. Uh, and uh, that's going to start uh, beginning May 1st. What advice would you give to other countries uh, that uh, are, are, are having problems like we are doing and you know, crime and all this are real quickly because it's going to be played there. Uh, what okay. advice would you give them? Okay. I would give um, 
people in other countries um, the advice to to love one another, okay, and uh, be you know have have a, a open heart, okay, and and just you know just take time to to listen to your fellow man, okay, because uh, um, you know we we get uh, um, and it, it, it's been work it's been worse in America than it is. Other the countries they will run around. Anybody doesn't have a gun, okay, to solve a problem. So it's a lot different environment. Okay. So um, and then with this stuff that's happening in Ukraine, you know, man, I am so proud of those the people uh, in Ukraine and the president of, uh, of that country. The, the people are standing up, okay. And they're looking out for each other. They're helping each other. And you yeah. got you got to stand up, Danger Man. If you believe in something, you oh got to be God. willing to have to have oh that, this conviction yes. uh, to oh my God. to die for it. And yes. I, I, I'm so proud of what they're doing as well. Hey, Danger Man. Now uh, I was told in my ear that Danger Man might have a plan for a sidekick. I mean, all the great things that you're doing. I mean, and, I, mean I, yeah. I, I have not seen a sidekick on any of the short movies that I have watched. Yeah. Uh, is, okay. it, is, it, is it potentially Danger Man might have a sidekick? Yeah, yeah, and, and, and potentially she could be a female. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, so there's some, you know. <laughs> so you don't, you don't want to share too much of that right now, I guess. <laughs> no, no, no. This is producer Todd, and I w I was gonna uh, apply to be the sidekick. I was gonna be kid caution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you, you still may have a chance. We'll have something for you to do. Hey, hey Todd, I, I think you'd be a very good sidekick, a kid caution. Yeah. So, uh, 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 he, he cautious, and he and it's it's all about warning. He'll have his own theme music too, as a sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, danger, man! I gotta ask you this question, man. Cause two minutes. You always on the go. You got uh, thirty-five seconds to answer this. How okay. does the danger man relax and keep his health? We talking mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and spirit. Thirty seconds or less. How 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 do you relax? Because you're always on the go, and I know you. You're my friend. Okay. Well, I pray a lot. Okay, I pray a lot, and then I drink a lot of water. All right, and um, and and then I just I I, I focus on God's message that, that uh, uh, we are our brother's keeper. Okay, and um, you know that's what. That's what I do, okay. Um, and I don't eat, One minute. eat as healthy as I do. I, I work on this, thing. okay. If you put a hamburger up under my face, I I may snatch it, okay. Hey, man, all, all of us are, are, are kind of uh, attracted to hamburger. Danger man, we we got about thirty five seconds. Uh, please tell our listeners real quickly so I can end the show. How can they get in touch with the Danger Man or? Or, or contact you and or, or, et cetera. You get, now you got 15 seconds. Okay, all right. Well, you can go on Facebook, okay, or just go to Google and put in Danger Man the Urban Superhero. Just like that. Google, put in Danger Man the Ur Urban Superhero, and it'll take you to about five or six of our main platforms, and you can contact us from there. Wow. Or, uh, and uh, everything, uh, uh, listen on this, uh, uh, Danger Man, all, all this information is going to be on the, the J.C. Cooley Foundation uh, website and all of my social media platforms. But uh, Danger Man, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to come on all the right. show. Got to have you back again, brother. Got to have you back again. I'd like to thank my great co-host, uh, Michelle Cooley. I'd like to thank my great producer, Todd Michelle Pirate. And I'd like to thank most important my listening audience for always tuning in. I'd like to thank... Uh, yeah, you know, everybody, and we're always looking for a sponsor so we can continue to bring this great message. We'll, we'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. It's your life. I'm James Cooley. Danger Man, the Black Superman Awards coming up this weekend. Check it out, it's gonna be posted. Uh, and uh, you can watch it, you can uh, put the invitation in and watch it live. It's your life. I'm James Cooley. The Black Superman. He's Danger Man. The Black Superman. He's Danger Man. <laughs>
job, JC. Hey, man, I think that was a great show, man. We got to have him back. Yeah, uh, he's fun. Oh, he's fun, man. And he's doing a lot of great things, Tom. He's doing a lot of great things. And, and so, uh, I tell you, uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, uh, it, it's not in a couple of weeks, next week, I would like to do two shows. Thanks for you, joining us time. for It's I mean, Your Life a lot with of James in, Cooley. In, uh, to learn uh, more about James, how you can support All right, I should be able to. Um, just make sure you just check with yeah, yeah, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin. I always check James with Kevin. Weekdays uh, he does, he does the scheduling, and I just go where they tell me to go. Yeah, Kevin, a good man, man. He is. He really is. It's a pleasure to work for him, really. Oh, man. How you been? Hell, man. It's cool. He's your Yeah. He's training me on a lot of stuff, new stuff, too, that none of the other managers would. So now I'm kind of like the assistant ops manager. Manager over here. Oh yeah. It's sponsored I mean, by and, uh, James J C uh, Cooley. Todd, he's Todd. He's very high on you, bro. Well, uh, let me say goodbye to Danger Man here. Okay. And then. Uh, all right. All right. Good job, Danger Man. Hey, great. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. All right. Danger Man. Thank you, guys. Danger Man. Stay and turn your volume back on Zoom. So James wants to post chat with you. So stay on Zoom if if possible. And uh, what what I'm gonna do is come on Facebook right now. Uh, well, I stay there for we we only got a couple minutes because you got to get. Out. I know they got another show coming up. Danger Man, thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Uh, got to have you back on always. You already know that. Uh, we got to put the Danger Man. Uh, out there, all the great things that you're doing. Uh, looking forward to uh, getting that information on the award show. If you still need for me to do that, I'm, I told you I have set aside the time to do that. Just let me know okay. what we need to do. And a hey, brother, thank you. Continue to be part of it. Continue to do all the things you're doing. I love you, man. I love you, man. I love you, man. Thank you. All so, right. Love you guys too. Okay. Right. Thank I'll talk, you. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. Take care. Mm -hmm. All right.